is going on E Nation fans? This is Impress 48 here. Welcome back to another video. And today I want to show you guys something special. And also before I get started, I want to say thank you guys so much for 300 subscribers once again. I'm not sure if this will count as a 300 subscriber special. Maybe, I'll think about it. But in that, I'm very excited to show you my latest project that I just finished. It took me three days, and man, oh man. I can't wait to show you enough talk. Let's get to it. All right, guys, I'm ready to show you guys in three, two, one. You guys know the title. Here it is. I made Daytona International Speedway. I want. I wish I could say this is my newest NASCAR stop motion track I made, but that is not the case. This is the fourth attempt of making an amazing Daytona International Speedway. What do I mean by that? There were three other tracks or attempts that I made Daytona International Speedway, but they look like my own house. I'll show you what I mean. This was the old or previous Daytona track that I made, but I guess I'm gonna have to keep this track and turn it into a mile and a half. Most likely, this will be Kansas because I looked up what Kansas looked like yesterday. Not just because of the track itself, but the entire landscape. They do have the corner of the grass turns one and two. Same thing with three and four. No grass on the back stretch like they used to. And I believe victory lays in the middle of Indian field. I don't know. Other than that, this will most likely be Kansas. So you guys know that this is my homestead track. What if I told you guys that the other side is another racetrack? Here is what I mean. Oh, so let's do it upside down. Anyway, so this, this is the second attempt of making Daytona. And yeah. <clears throat> this looks like either a mile and a half or this could be like a one mile a D oval shaped track what do you guys think that the second attempt of Daytona should be feel free to let me know and I did make Daytona as a first attempt all the way back in 2015 but I threw out the track I don't really remember why because maybe it didn't look so good maybe it got damaged I don't remember I think I must have got rid of it. So you will not see the first attempt of the Daytona track that I made, but it looked like a mile and a half. And I did have the three, uh, number three, someone grass like 2011 for Dale Earnhardt, like my friend Nick did when he did the stop motion series called Federated Upward Scrub Series. So yeah. Anyway, as for this track, this took me three days. And I kid you not, on the first day of making this track, I used all of my NASCAR 164 die casts to make an outline with Daytona. Well, except for the Brakazowski 2014 card because I can't get that out of the box because I taped it shut. So yeah, like think in the, in the end of the video, I'll show you the progress of the track with pictures during the week. So yeah. What happened was uh, my mom and dad got a new TV and I kept the, the big boxes. I, I kept the big box, here's the other box. I'll make another track of it soon. But whenever there's like a box, depends what it is, I'll keep the boxes to make it racetracks. So yeah, thank you, mom and dad. And I just can't wait to do uh, stop motion races at this Daytona because it's it's good it is a perfect length to be daytona so anyway i'll show you the track so this is the iconic daytona logo on the infield grass here's a start finish line back racing at its finest and this is the apron this is my first time adding aprons on any of my stop motion tracks and for the first time it looks good it looks good and then here's pit road Eight pit stalls, one stall, which is the entrance of the garage and it entrance to pit road. There's the um, and, uh, entrance to pit road. This is supposed to be like 
turn four calamity corner um turn four that's what it's known for we all know what that corner is it's remember it's iconic for eh, crash reasons let's just say just like indianapolis turn two calamity corner daytona's turn four is calamity corner here's the uh, garage area i think it can fit like 12 cars i think not sure here is victory lane with my favorite driver Jimmy Johnson and Victory Lane with the checkered flag. When I was vacuuming um, my room, like, there was, like, the uh, birthday box for my 19th birthday. Like, I was just moving it back then. It was open, and I realized there were these little checkered flags. So, yeah. I guess that's going to be in my stop motion races now if somebody wins. I don't think it'll go well for IndyCar because they don't have, like, what NASCAR or stock cars have. So yeah, there's Victory Lane. There is the infield road course. Um, my first attempt adding a road course. Actually, no. I did that on my fantasy track, uh, Georgia Raceway. This is my first attempt for a real track. And it's pretty solid. I think it's supposed to be like a design part of Daytona. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I'll do like a road course Daytona race because... I think you can fit like two cars in it or whatever. I don't know. You can fit two cars of 187s on this course. And then let's go to the Daytona Super Stretch. There is Thin Boy Lake Lloyd all the way at the end of the back stretch, almost. And then here is the bus stop. I don't know why I call it the bus stop because maybe I want to show like this is the bus stop. Hey, because of the lines. So this is the bus stop. Uh, I don't know if that will be used. If I ever do like a 187 stop motion race, maybe I'll do the Daytona Road Course race. And then here's turn three and turn four. There is the restart zone that I made. And then start finish line. So yes, that is it for today's video i thought i wanted to show you guys uh, my my daytona truck a uh, fourth attempt of making it i'm really proud of this this is very amazing i always wanted to make in making make a perfect track and i'm so happy that this box is a good opportunity very very awesome and i want to thank everybody on instagram for the full support and that is it for today's video. I want to say thank you guys for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Follow my social accounts. Instagram, I'm press 25 and Ian press 48 underscore YT. Like my Facebook page, Ian underscore 40 dash E Nation Films. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube channel notifications for more content. Or expect a stop motion race at Daytona coming soon. Who knows? Stick around if you want to see that, huh? And, um, I am work. I was working on a stop motion race for Richmond for the cup cars, but that's delayed because I was making this. But don't worry, I'll be back on that. I, I, I took the pictures of the, uh, of the starting grid, so I will put these, put the cars back where they started. No problem. So, yeah. Thank you guys for supporting E-Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody, and here is the entire progress. Pictures. It's not a lot of pictures, but the progress of the truck from three days. Thank you guys for supporting E-Nation, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.